English Tagalog Phrasal Verbs 11 to 15. Ang mga pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay slow down, slow down, o slow somebody down, slow somebody down. Put somebody or something down. Put somebody or something down. Settle down. Settle down. Turn somebody or something down. Turn somebody or something down. Turn something down. Turn something down. Pag-aralan natin ngayon kung ano ang slow down, slow down, o slow somebody down, slow somebody down. Narito ang mga ibig sabihin, bagalan o bumagal o humina, bawasan ng dalas, maging dahilan ng pagkaantala o pagbagal ng ibang tao. Gamitin natin sa mga pangungusap ang phrasal verb na slow down. Narito ang unang halimbawa. The annual report shows that the economy slowed down in 2019. The annual report shows that the economy slowed down in 2019. Ang ibig sabihin, ayon sa tao ng ulat, ang ekonomiya ay humina noong 2019. The annual report shows that the economy slowed down in 2019. The car slowed down as it approached the school zone. The car slowed down as it approached the school zone. Bumagal ang kotse ng papalapit na ito sa may paaralan. The car slowed down as it approached the school zone. Diane realized that she's driving too fast and began to slow down. Diane realized that she's driving too fast and began to slow down. Ang ibig sabihin, napansin ni Diane na napakabilis niyang magmaneho kaya sinimulan niyang bagalan ang pagpapatakbo ng sasakyan. Diane realized that she's driving too fast and began to slow down. Scientists claim that they can now slow down the aging process. Scientists claim that they can now slow down the aging process. Sinasabi ng mga siyentipiko na kaya na nilang pabagalin ngayon ang proseso ng pagtanda. Scientists claim that they can now slow down the aging process. Don't wait for me, I'm only slowing you down. Don't wait for me, I'm only slowing you down. Wag mo na akong hintayin, pinapabagal lang kita. Don't wait for me, I'm only slowing you down. Ang susunod nating phrasal verb ay put somebody or something down. Mga ibig sabihin, ibaba ang hawak o karga, o kaya bitawan o ilapag. Put somebody or something down. Halimbawa, Mom, put me down. Mom, put me down. Inay, ibaba mo ako o Mom, ibaba mo ako. Mom, put me down. If the basket is so heavy, why don't you put it down? If the basket is so heavy, why don't you put it down? Kung mabigat ang basket, bakit hindi mo ito ibaba? If the basket is so heavy, why don't you put it down? The Harry Potter book was so good that I couldn't put it down. The Harry Potter book was so good that I couldn't put it down. Napakaganda ng librong Harry Potter kaya hindi ko ito mabitawan. The Harry Potter book was so good that I couldn't put it down. You're going to break that plate if you're not careful. Put it down. You're going to break that plate if you're not careful. Put it down. Mababasag mo yung plato pag hindi ka nag-ingat. Ilapag o bitawan mo yan. You're going to break that plate if you're not careful. Put it down. Jerry is already asleep. You may put him down now. Jerry is already asleep. You may put him down now. Nakatulog na si Jerry. Pwede mo na siyang ibaba ngayon. Jerry is already asleep. You may put him down now. Ang susunod nating phrasal verb ay settle down. Settle down. Mga kahulugan, mamuhay ng tahimik, pirmihan at komportable sa isang lugar. Pwede rin kahulugan nito ay pumanatag sa isang lugar o sitwasyon at maging masaya o kontento doon. Settle down. Settle down. Halimbawa, 
Robin quickly settled down in his new apartment. Robin quickly settled down in his new apartment. Si Robin ay kaagad na pumanatag o nanirahan ng tahimik sa kanyang bagong apartment. Robin quickly settled down in his new apartment. What she really wanted was to get married and settle down. What she really wanted was to get married and settle down. Ang gusto niya talaga ay mag-asawa at mamuhay ng tahimik. What she really wanted was to get married and settle down. Chris settled down after he married Hannah. Chris settled down after he married Hannah. Si Chris ay namuhay ng payapa pagkatapos niyang mapangasawa si Hannah. Chris settled down after he married Hannah. The children soon settled down and started doing their homework. The children soon settled down and started doing their homework. Ang ibig sabihin, ang mga bata ay nanahimik na at nagsimulang gawin ang kanilang aralin. The children soon settled down and started doing their homework. Jackie will travel to Europe for a year before settling down with a career. Jackie will travel to Europe for a year before settling down with a career. Si Jackie ay maglalakbay sa Europa ng isang taon bago siya pumirmi sa isang trabaho. Jackie will travel to Europe for a year before settling down with a career. Ang susunod na phrasal verb ay turn somebody or something down. Turn somebody or something down. Mga kahulugan, tanggihan ng isang tao o bagay o kaya ay hindi tanggapin. Turn somebody or something down. I can't believe Joe turned the job offer down flat. I can't believe Joe turned the job offer down flat. Hindi ako makapaniwala ng tinanggihan ni Joe ang alok na trabaho ng ganoon. I can't believe Joe turned the job offer down flat. I have just been turned down for another job. I have just been turned down for another job. Hindi na naman ako tinanggap sa trabaho. I have just been turned down for another job. Ahmed keeps inviting her to visit Afghanistan but she always turns him down. Ahmed keeps inviting her to visit Afghanistan but she always turns him down. Lagi siyang iniimbitahan ni Ahmed na pumisita sa Afghanistan pero palagi niya itong tinatanggihan. Ahmed keeps inviting her to visit Afghanistan but she always turns him down. Why did you turn down the invitation to Pia's birthday party? Why did you turn down the invitation to Pia's birthday party? Bakit mo tinanggihan ang imbitasyon sa birthday party ni Pia? Why did you turn down the invitation to Pia's birthday party? She thought Leo was so good-looking that she couldn't imagine any woman would turn him down. She thought Leo was so good-looking that she couldn't imagine any woman would turn him down. Ang akala niya napakagwapo ni Leo kaya hindi siya makapaniwalang may babaeng tatanggi dito. She thought Leo was so good-looking that she couldn't imagine any woman would turn him down. Ang huling phrasal verb na aaralin natin para sa video ng ito ay turn something down. Turn something down. mga kahulugan, hinaan ng volume o tunog, o kaya ay hinaan o bawasan ng apoy, init o liwanag. Turn something down. Your radio is so loud. Please turn the volume down. Your radio is so loud. Please turn the volume down. Ang lakas ng radyo mo, pakihinaan mo naman. Your radio is so loud. Please turn the volume down. If the music is too loud for you, why didn't you ask me to turn it down? If the music is too loud for you, why didn't you ask me to turn it down? Kung masyadong maingay ang music para sa iyo, bakit hindi mo ako sinabihang hinaan? If the music is too loud for you, why didn't you ask me to turn it down? Ella didn't want to burn her fried eggs, so she turned the heat down. Ella didn't want to burn her fried eggs, so she turned the heat down. Ayaw ni Ella na matutong ang pritong itlog niya, kaya hininaan niya ang apoy. Ella didn't want to burn her fried eggs, so she turned the heat down. It's already late, so she turned down the sound on the TV set. It's already late, so she turned down the sound on the TV set. Gabi na kaya hininaan niyang TV. 
It's already late so she turned down the sound on the TV set. Can you please turn the volume down? I can't sleep. Can you please turn the volume down? I can't sleep. Pwede bang pakihinaan mo? Hindi ako makatulog. Can you please turn the volume down? I can't sleep. Sana ay nakatulong ang video na ito sa iyong pansariling pag-aaral ng wikang Ingles. Para mapanood mo ang mga susunod na aralin, mag-subscribe lamang sa OFW English. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po!